Math 31, here we are with the first of our applied problems. Um, so when you start to go through these word problems, really keep track of what are the variables? How many do I have? So let's read through this and see if we can figure out what are the variables and how many do you have? So two numbers total negative six and their difference is 12, find the two numbers. Well, this one's nice in that I straight up see that I have two numbers. So I'm gonna be solving a two by two here which means somewhere in these, there's only two sentences. Somewhere in these two sentences are two equations. And here we go, it says two numbers total negative six. When you refer to totaling numbers, right, we're talking about adding numbers, right? And I hear their difference is 12. So when we hear difference of two numbers, I'm talking about subtraction. Find the two numbers. All right, so I'm gonna decide that I'll call x my first number and I will call y my second number. So I've got my two variables. All right, let's see what my two equations can be. It says they total out to negative six and their difference, actually, you know what? I'm gonna write it over here just so I have, I have plenty of room. All right, oops, I think I'm running out of eraser. Nope, there we go. All right, so I've got here, let me section that off. All right, we've got that two numbers total negative six, but their difference is positive 12. Okay, so with that, I've got my system of equations, right? I've got two variables and I've got two equations to match them. I can use elimination or substitution. And it really just depends on the system. When I look at this, I think, you know, I'm just gonna use elimination because the way these y variables are set up, they're opposite in sign, but they have the same coefficient. So that's just ready to go for elimination. So let me go ahead and add these equations together. x plus x is going to be 2x. The y's eliminate. Negative 6 plus 12 is 6. Now when I divide both sides by 2, I'm going to get x is equal to 3. Well, fantastic. That's great. But that's, again, only half the problem, right? I need an ordered pair. So from here, I can then substitute x equaling three either into this top equation or this bottom equation. And I think I'm gonna just put it into the top equation. So we have three plus y is equal to negative six. When I subtract three, I'm gonna get y is equal to negative nine. So at this point, I think I have x is three and y is nine. So I'm gonna write my answer up. So the two numbers, are three and negative nine. All right, and let's just check it. Do, what is three plus negative nine? That is negative six. What is three minus a negative nine? Well, three minus a negative nine is three plus nine, and that is 12. So these two numbers are consistent with what we got going on for our setup. And I always get the question, do I have to write out a sentence? You don't have to write out a sentence. It's a good idea to get into that habit because especially as we get to the more convoluted problems. If you were just to tell me three negative nine, right? Which is completely correct here. But especially when we get into the more applied problems, if you don't have units on your answers, I, I would dock you for that. So start to get in the habit of just, oh, find the two numbers. Well, these are the two numbers. They don't have units on them because they are just numbers. All right, so with that, we're gonna move on to example five, another word problem. All right, I'll see you in a bit, bye.